When a suspicious breast lesion is detected through symptoms, clinical exam, or imaging techniques, physicians will usually obtain a tissue sample. This sample is sent for evaluation to an especially trained physician, a pathologist. Using a variety of techniques, the pathologist examines the unique features of the tissue cells and determines the diagnosis. Pathologists play a crucial role in determining the diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment options for breast cancer and other cancers. There's clinical pathology, which deals with all the tests that are done on blood uh, and various body fluids, and then anatomic pathology, which is what I do, and we examine tissue that's uh, been removed from patients in biopsies or in surgery uh, to try to determine if something is wrong and if so exactly what the nature of the disease process is. And the doctors that are treating the patients use this information to guide their therapy. When staging a tumor, pathologists look for certain characteristics specific to cancer cells. The mitotic index measures how rapidly the tumor cells are dividing. It is determined by calculating the percentage of cells in a sample that are actively dividing. A higher mitotic index may indicate a more rapidly growing tumor. The histologic grade describes how different the cancer cells look from normal cells. This includes the shape and size of the nucleus as well as the overall structures of the cells. Cells with increasingly abnormal structures are given a higher grade. In addition to the individual cells, pathologists also look at the overall organization of the tissue. Normal tissues are highly organized, and cancer tissue becomes increasingly disorganized. One of the most common ways in which cancer is staged is known as TNM. T stands for tumor size, N for the involvement of lymph nodes, and M for metastases, or the presence of cancer at sites outside of its original location. Tumor size is an important indicator of five-year survival rates in breast cancer. Patients with tumors less than or equal to two centimeters have a 92% survival rate, but for those with tumors greater than 5 centimeters, survival rates drop to 65%. Another measure important in staging is whether or not the cancer cells have spread to the lymph nodes. When surgeons remove a breast tumor, they also remove some or all of the lymph nodes adjacent to it. Pathologists can then examine these lymph nodes for the presence of cancer cells. If cancer cells are found, it means that the cancer has moved from its original location and may have spread to other parts of the body. In addition to monitoring the general features of cancer, pathologists also test for certain breast cancer-specific markers known to be valuable in the design of targeted treatment plants. In the United States, almost all new cases of breast cancer have additional testing done to uh, determine what type of therapy is likely to be best for the patient. And there are three tests that are always done, sometimes others are done too, but they are for estrogen and progesterone receptors and uh, a molecule that's on the surface of breast cancer cells called HER2 new. Estrogen and progesterone are female hormones and some breast cancers grow faster in the uh, presence of uh, one or both of these hormones and others are not affected by it. The estrogen receptor, ER, and the progesterone receptor, PR, are proteins that bind the female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. These hormones, produced by the ovaries, bind to their respective receptors and stimulate the production of proteins that increase cell division. Breast tumor cells with a positive hormone receptor status may be further characterized by how much ER and PR is present. The Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor, or HER2, is a receptor protein located on the surface of breast cells. This protein binds growth factors and stimulates cell division. 
Breast tumor cells with a positive HER2 status have high levels of HER2 on their surface. This may result in an increased ability to grow and spread. Importantly, HER2 positive breast cancer can be treated with a targeted treatment designed to interfere with the function of the HER2 protein and cause the death of cells that have too much HER2. Pathologists utilize two important techniques to detect the presence of HER2, PR, and ER, immunohistochemistry, or IHC, and fluorescence in situ hybridization, commonly known as FISH. IHC measures protein levels using antibodies that bind to the protein of interest. The antibody is mixed with the cells and the unbound antibody is washed off. The presence of the antibodies can be detected by viewing the sample under a microscope. The areas with bound antibodies will appear darker than those without. Darker staining corresponds to higher concentrations of protein. Fluorescence in situ hybridization, or FISH, is a technique used to detect genetic changes in cancer cells. Often, the HER2 gene described earlier is present in cancer cells in too many copies. The FISH technique detects the extra copies of the HER2 gene using colored DNA probes that bind to the HER2 DNA. The information that comes with a cancer diagnosis can be very overwhelming. Don't be afraid to ask questions about your diagnosis or treatment plan. To learn more about breast cancer pathology, please visit the CancerQuest website at www.cancerquest.org.